Up here ahead where the tie pile is, there are a couple of old spur lines to service the once bustling array of manufactories that once kept people busy here. to indicate the full width of the right-of-way. So someone's getting paid. As you can see, it's an inherently workable surface now. But for the fuss budgetry of pampered American white people who simply must have pavement or rock dust. If they could just get this group to haul his ties away, they'd probably take it from there. I'd have no trouble pedaling some beater bike along this thing. Striking example of hoarding with a giant Kentucky bank account bedecking someone's yard. And you can kind of tell the neighbors don't care for it. They put big fences up to not have to look at this shit. <laughs> So this is what needs to go away. I had read a report that this junk was already gone, but evidently not. It introduces a sense of mystery and drama. Will the contractor leave the city in the lurch 
or take forever? Or will you at least get rid of this crap and let nature take its course? Oh, people are already using it as a place to stash yard waste. Nice. The douchery of the nation it has few equals in our never ending struggle to assert how bitchin' we are. And show all who are paying any attention but striking and brilliant individuals the nation creates. There's more of that manufacturing era stuff. Ooh, maybe they're going to haul some ties away. Here's another little spot where you can get on and off the thing. It's strictly a vernacular item. a straight shot to the river the traffic up ahead is on Oak Street where there's a charming old depot that's been turned into a coffee shop Probably some kind of. Eh, that's a fence post base. Not a lot of relics on this section. And here is the location of a second spear. where some nitwits using a blower to move concrete dust all over the place. <laughs> it probably convinces his employer that he's doing something. So we'll pass through this mass hole, man-made concrete dust fog and pity the poor fool who's stuck in the middle of it. Oh, and there's his goon boss making sure that it's properly awful. Yeah. And over here we have, it looks like 
someone robbed a register and dumped the evidence. And here's another little entrance. You can see there's a second track right here. Must have been a siding for freight servicing these manufacturing things. Maybe it looks like, oh yeah, there's even a third one over here. So this is like a little mini yard. And more douchery of some clown dumping junk. That'll probably be the main challenge for the city is to get people to stop dumping crap here. And I noticed there's some snow berms on the right of way up ahead. Another desperate attempt from some shithead with a dump truck or plow truck to get rid of all the snow. It'll go away. I could have waited till this thing was done, but I have so little confidence in contractors in this state, the kind of people that talk out of six sides of their mouth, that I figured I may as well just catch it now. And this is the little depot I alluded to. It's a charmer. Appropriately named the Depot Coffee Shop Bakery and Cafe. And they have put in some kind of crossing for Oak Street. That's probably the city. 